we know that if you have low-grade chronic inflammation in the bloodstream, it does tend to predispose to diabetes. The evidence base for an association between periodontitis and diabetes is very strong indeed. We know that diabetes is a risk factor for periodontal disease. Periodontal disease appears to be a complication, an infectious complication of diabetes mellitus. We and others have found that patients with diabetes who also suffer from periodontal disease often have worsened glycemic control. There are some studies showing that the HbA1c levels in blood can be dropped by 0.4%, which doesn't sound a lot, uh, through periodontal treatment. But it's the equivalent uh, fall from an anti-diabetes drug used as a second drug in addition to the, the, the primary drug. If you offer patients a drug or you offer them a physical treatment, they would far rather have the physical treatment. They don't want to be on the drugs. Periodontal disease is relatively straightforward to treat. The treatment's accessible, doesn't take too long, uh, and it's, by and large it's effective. <laughs>